We've seen a rise in officer involved shootings this morning. West Palm Beach police say they were forced to open fire when they approached a driver early this morning. The suspect, we're told, was shot several times and remains in the hospital. On Friday, last Friday, Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies were involved in a deadly shootout in Jupiter. A K-9 deputy injured after taking a bullet meant for his handler. That brings the total to 15 in our five county viewing area compared to just six during the same time last year. And News Channel 5's John Shaneman spoke with one local sheriff about the dangers deputies face and remembering those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. A wreath is placed outside the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office Monday. To honor and remember our fallen heroes. It is Peace Officers Memorial Day, a day to remember the men and women of law enforcement who died in the line of duty. These heroes go to work every day uh, willing to lay down their lives uh, to protect and serve our community. St. Lucie County has logged seven names over the course of the past century. Their headquarters is named after one of the fallen, a bench honors another. In recent days, we've seen several officer-involved shooting cases. Fortunately, no fatalities, but a canine officer was struck by a bullet during a shootout. I asked the sheriff if he feels the job has become more dangerous over time. Criminals are getting better armed. Uh, criminals have this intent uh, of no fear, no hostage. They just want to shoot to kill. The sheriff pointed to a statistic that especially alarmed him, a 176% increase nationwide in ambushes. It's just uh, a terrible thought uh, that these men and women go out thinking that uh, without any provocation, uh, they could be killed just doing their job. The sheriff adds, while well, every year it's important to remember, it's also a time to remind others about the frontline dangers. In St. Lucie County, John Shaman, WPTV News Channel 5.